Hi everybody. Last year we launched Sensemaking 101, which is our first online course and features some of the most impressive people we've had on the channel teaching a set of skills that help us improve how we make sense of the world. And those skills are only getting more important. So our next cohort launches on the 4th of February. And in this film, we talk about what happens over the eight weeks and also feature some clips from our guest teachers. For this cohort, we've also decided to double the amount of discounted tuitions, as we know a lot of people are struggling financially at the moment. So there's some more information about that down in the show notes. So the first two times we ran the course, it sold out pretty quickly and we expect this one to sell out as well. This is a course designed to teach some of the skills that we talk about a lot on the channel with amazing guest faculty, including Daniel Schmachtenberger, Diane Michaud Hamilton, John Viveki, Doshin Roshi. Yeah. So we've designed the course to move from inner to outer. And what that means in practice is that we spend time developing skills centered around sovereignty. So our ability to stay connected to ourselves, to not be hijacked by the information around us, to stay aware of our environment. And then we use those skills to start making sense of what's around us more effectively. And we introduce a lot of different tools and a lot of different frameworks and models to help us really understand what the hell is going on. So yeah, we've really sifted through all of the best practices, all of the best techniques, what some people on the channel have called psychotechnologies to help us make sense of the world. And we've chosen the guest faculty because of their lifetime experience making use of these techniques. People like Daniel Schmachtenberger. We're making more and more consequential choices with worse and worse sense making to inform those choices, which is kind of running increasingly fast through the woods, increasingly blind. I think many of the people that you've had on Rebel Wisdom have been in a deep inquiry around how do we actually fix our own sense making. And then we also have John Verveke, who is a cognitive scientist at the University of Toronto and created the, the very well-regarded Awakening from the Meaning Crisis series on YouTube. And John's session is all about wisdom, what wisdom is, how we cultivate it, and how we see through our cognitive biases to perceive reality more clearly. What is self-deception? What are higher states of consciousness? What is enlightenment? What is wisdom? What's our best cognitive scientific answer of that? And then can we use that to create what I call psychotechnologies and communities and ecologies of them that can give us back the cultivation of wisdom and self-transcendence and also connect us up to a worldview that valorizes homes, legitimates and makes sense of that set of practices. Then we have Diane Musho Hamilton who brings together these amazing skills of being a Zen master and also a trained mediator. What we need to be doing is helping people calibrate and move together highly coherently and then really experience difference as it arises on an embodied level within the interaction, um, notice when it flips into threat, and try to calibrate difference and teach people how to be in difference because that's where emergence is more likely to, to really make itself, to really come forward is through this collision of difference. That's what happens. And we have another Zen master, Doshin Roshi. And Doshin's session is all about the shadow, which is an essential concept in our own personal development, but also in how we perceive the world around us and the effect it has. So his session is, is always very popular, and here's a clip of him discussing what the shadow is. We have to have collective ways of dealing with this collective shadow. And we've developed some, mm -hmm. some collective shadow work, some group shadow work, where we, we really talk about these shadows mm -hmm. and we work on them and we help people become conscious of them. So this is the third time we've run the course and we've improved it each time and the feedback just keeps getting better and better. This is about an ecology of practices, what Rebel Wisdom does very well of exposing us to the sages of the day, right? Of encountering new material, of new perspectives and things like that. And then learning meditative practices of being able to look at yourself and look at these ideas. And thank you so much for those kinds of opportunities, because I don't think there are a lot of us out here who understand what this transformative process is that we're undergoing. And the more that we can understand and appreciate it and practice it, the easier it will be to anchor it individually, collectively, and organically as a groundswell movement that changes the course of human history human future potential. So thank you.
So as we said before, this is the third time we're running this course and we've been improving it every time and it's really grown into more than the sum of its parts. So uh, I also like to think of it as, as kind of a, a process as well as, as a course, as a really um, uh, thought out narrative structure from beginning to end. And as we mentioned, it moves from sort of internal skill sets then into looking at the world around us. And that is also supported by the pods. So throughout the course, everyone works in pods of three different people and they meet once a week. And as well as that, we have one live call with one of the faculty or with Rebel Wisdom once a week. And on top of that as well, there's a really well thought out, really detailed workbook, which has a lot of self-directed um, exercises people can do in their own time if they choose to. So the first two times we ran the course, it sold out pretty quickly and we expect this one to sell out as well. So if you're interested, click the link below. And also there's an email address for any queries that's gonna come up on screen now.